Hi everyone, my name is Shabraj Rakra, and I am the scientist wannabe. Happy Canada Day everyone. To celebrate 150 years of Canada, I present to you five spectacular scientific discoveries and inventions made by Canadians. Number one, the discovery of insulin. Before the discovery of insulin, diabetes was one of the most feared medical conditions. During this time, most people with diabetes would die. This was until 1922 when Canadians Dr. Frederick G. Banting from Toronto and Professor John McLeod from the University of Toronto tested insulin on their first diabetes patient who was a 14-year-old boy by the name of Leonard Thompson. The test was successful even though Leonard was close to death before receiving his insulin shot. After Leonard's success with the insulin, the team expanded to other diabetes patients. The insulin was also successful on these other patients. Frederick G. Banting and John McLeod were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1923 for the discovery of insulin. Number 2. The Invention of the Light Bulb Most people would think that it was Thomas Edison who invented the light bulb. Well, those people thought wrong. The light bulb was actually invented by Canadian medical electrician from Toronto. The inventor's name was James Woodward. Woodward and a colleague by the name of Matthew Evans owned the patent for the light bulb, which was filled out on July 24, 1874. The general look of the first light bulb was a shaped rod of carbon which was held between two electrodes in a glass bulb filled with nitrogen. The reason why people think that it was Thomas Edison who was the inventor of the light bulb was because Edison had purchased the Canadian patent for the light bulb from Woodward. Number 3. The Mapping of the Visual Cortex of the Brain The visual cortex of the brain is located in the occipital lobe which can be located at the back of the cerebrum. David H. Hubel was a Canadian doctor who studied medicine at McGill University. In 1958, Hubel moved to John Hopkins where he teamed up with a researcher from Sweden by the name of Torsten Wiesel. Both began to make key discoveries about the visual cortex. A year later, they moved to Harvard Medical School. Throughout the 1960s and the 1970s, the duo had made a series of groundbreaking papers about the visual cortex. In order to detect the movement of individual neurons, they used microelectrodes and modern electronics. By doing this, they were able to map the visual cortex. Because of their amazing work, today, people know more about the visual cortex of the brain than any other part of the brain. In 1981, Hubel and Wiesel shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Hubel was also inducted into the Canadian Medical Hall of Fame in 2005. Number 4. The Discovery of Stem Cells Stem cells are cells of a multicellular organism which are able to give rise to more cells of the same type. The existence of stem cells was confirmed in 1961 by James Till and Ernest McCulloch, who were both Canadian scientists. In their paper, stem cells are referred to as the colony-building cells. This was one of the greatest breakthroughs that started stem cell science. There have been many achievements in the research of stem cells over the years. A notable achievement was made by Dr. Sam Weiss of the University of Calgary. He discovered that the human brain of an adult produces stem cells so it can heal itself. Number 5. The Invention of Alkaline Batteries The alkaline battery was invented by a chemical engineer from the small town of Pontypool in Ontario. His name was Lou Uri. Lou worked for the company of Union Carbide, which later created the Energizer brand in 1980. Lou invented the concept of the alkaline battery while working for this company. His first patent of the alkaline battery was made in 1959. When the battery was made, Lou tested them on things such as battery-powered cars. He would show how the battery lasted longer than the battery's use at the time. The invention of the alkaline battery also opened many doors for electronic toy industries. Lou claims that he was not the only one to make the battery technology. However, he was the one to design the container that had the Energizer brand's colors on it, including the pink bunny. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Tune in on August 3rd, 2017 for a new video.
Once again, happy Canada Day, everyone. And remember, everything is science.